Not only is traveling around the world in your own private jet one of the most luxurious things you can do, it's also one of the best ways to show off your wealth and status. While single-aisle private jets are the most common type, a very small number of very rich people can afford to own a wide-body aircraft all to themselves and pay for its upkeep. Let's take a look at the extra-large private plane that holds the record. Let's look at one of the largest private jets in the world. Number 5. Drake's Private Boeing 767-200 Drake, a Canadian hip-hop artist, was very happy to own his own Boeing 767-200ER at the beginning of 2019. But Drake isn't the only person who owns this land. In fact, Cargo Jet, which is based in Ontario, owns it. As a promotion, the air freight company is giving away the plane in return for free advertising. After all, if you have an extra plane or two, why not take advantage of the chance? It's not entirely clear who's paying for the fuel. In the meantime, this doesn't mean that the plane hasn't been carefully decorated. The floor is covered in carpet, there are gold and wood surfaces, a wall made up of nothing but mirrors, an entertainment room, and three private rooms that are completely closed off. The plane with the registration number N767CJ is more commonly known as the Air Drake. It was first used by Mideast Jet in October 1996. Drake got in trouble in the summer of 2022 when his private plane made several short trips between Hamilton and Toronto. Drake later came out to make it clear that the plane was just being moved and that there were no people on board. Even so, it's said that the short trips released about 15 tons of carbon dioxide into the air. A lot of people thought that the musician was on board as well. Number 4. Roman Abramovich Boeing 767-33 AER Roman Abramovich, who used to own Chelsea and is now a Russian businessman, used to fly in a Boeing 767-33 AER. The plane was nicknamed Bandit because of the black slanted stripes that ran around the pilot windows. In 2004, Abramovich bought the plane that was supposed to be shipped to Hawaiian Airlines, but the airline changed its mind and canceled the order. This building is said to have an eating hall that can fit 30 people, a full-service kitchen that can make gourmet food, and toilets that have been decorated with gold. In addition, it has the same anti-ballistic missile defense technology as Air Force One, the presidential plane used by the United States. Abramovich traded the plane in for a Boeing 787-8 at the end of 2021. The space has been rearranged so it can now fit 50 VIPs. The twin jet was 8 years old and worth $350 million. On December 19, 2021, it flew to Moscow with the registration number P4BDL so that the millionaire could start using it. Because Russia invaded Ukraine, Abramovich was hit with sanctions in early 2022, which meant that his private jet could not take off or land. It's said that the 787 was kept at Dubai World Center or DWC for more than a year. This puts Abramovich in the same group as third-placed Russian billionaire Yusmanov. Number 3. Alisher Usmanov Airbus A340 Vladimir Putin does not own the biggest private jet in the Russian Federation. As president of the Russian Federation for a long time, he uses a version of the Ilyushin 296, which has been greatly modified. In fact, Alyosha Bukhanovich Usmanov, who was born in Uzbekistan, should have it. The oligarch's Airbus A340-300, which was given to him in October 2008 and has the registration number MIABU, is almost 15 years old. Margot Aviation took over running his business after 12 years of working for Global Jet Luxembourg, which used to be called Silver Arrows. Claret Aviation, which now owns and operates the plane, took over management of it in December 2021. Planespotters.net says the jet was stored at Tashkent International Airport, or TAS, after Usmanov was punished and his property was frozen. It's been there since February 2022. The aeroplane has been given the name of Usmanov's father, Burkhan, and his name written on the front of the body. News stories say the owners made changes to the plane that have made it worth $450 million in the U.S. With a dining room, king-size beds, and high-end leather chairs, the inside of this wide-body VIP extravaganza is unlike any other. For now, Usman's A340 has a nightclub on board, as any good Russian billionaire should. Your car could go 13,400 kilometers or 7,300 nautical miles, so you could have a party anywhere from Moscow to Lima or Los Angeles. Number 2. Prince Al Walid bin Talal's Private 747-400 the second largest private jet in the world, the Boeing 747-400, is owned by Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. 
Forbes named the Saudi Arabian prince and businessman number 45 on their list of the world's richest people in 2017. He owns shares of companies in the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and other places. When the prince bought the plane in 2003, it already had 400 seats for people on board. These were torn down to make room for a dining room that could seat 14 people, two lovely double beds, and just because, a golden throne in the middle of the cabin. Reports say there are 11 flight attendants working on the plane. Number 1. Joseph Lau's Private 747-8 VIP The biggest private jet in the world is owned by Joseph Lau, a legendary figure in Hong Kong's real estate business with a net worth of more than $13 billion. There are a total of 445 square meters of floor room inside the longest and second largest commercial aeroplane ever built. In Lau's design, a spiral staircase connects the two levels. The first investment Lau made was said to have cost $367 million, and the improvements that followed added another $153 million to the total cost. The Boeing 747-8 is said to have a fancy office area, several guest bedrooms, high ceilings, and a gym on board, but the exact layout of the rooms is being kept secret. Getting a good workout instead of just walking up and down the hallway is the best way to avoid jet lag and keep your blood flowing while flying across the Pacific on a long-haul trip. It's known as the Sultan of Brunei, who's one of the richest people in the world, travels in a Boeing 747-8 VIP. Another example is the quad jet that's 10 years old and has the registration number V8BHK. It belongs to the government of Brunei, so we chose not to include it. This plane took the place of a 747 400 in 2016, which had been used to carry the Sultan before. As a whole, these private jets definitely offer a lot of comfort to the people who fly on them. Once you're constantly on the road and often going with large groups of people, there aren't many easier ways to get on in the air. Could the Airbus A380 be added to this list before the end of the decade? It's not impossible, especially since many airlines have taken the Airbus 380 out of their fleets since the COVID problem and the rise in popularity of twin-jet widebodies that use less fuel. Let's just see Prince Alwali bin Talal's private A380 that was never made. One thing that comes close to the size of the Airbus A380 is the Boeing 747. That huge double-decker bird that the company made might not have sold to many private buyers on its own. It was said that the A380 could be used for VIP and private purposes, but there was only ever one order for a private A380 and the plane was never built. It was at the Dubai Air Show in 2007 that the Prince made the order for the plane. Some sources say that the building was going to have a Turkish bath, a garage for the Prince's Rolls-Royce, a three-level lift, a private apartment, and even a room for music. But the person who was supposed to buy the plane never actually got it. Instead, Prince Abali bin Talal made the deal with an unknown bidder. Forbes says that this person was officially the one who took possession of the property in late 2012. The logistics of operating a private Airbus A380 would have been very expensive, even for a prince worth many billions of dollars. The plane's size would also have limited the number of airports where it could land, but Talal would not have had to worry about the cost if he decided to take the plane. Which of these planes would you choose as your own personal way of transportation if you had to pick just one? Or would you prefer a smaller single aisle private jet? Leave a comment below and let us know. And thanks for watching this video.